Hey yo, welcome back to my channel. I am She Bang Beat. Thank you for stopping by. And if you're new to the channel, welcome to the party. We have enough room for everybody, so come on in and make sure you hit that like, that like, that like. It really tells the algorithm, hey, they doing something good over there on She Bang Beat's channel. We might as well go ahead and show everybody else in the world. That's what it does, okay? So make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Um, and make sure you leave me a comment and turn on your post notification bell so you can be notified each and every time I post a video because we are growing and glowing together. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you my mixing process. I'm going to make a beat and then I'm going to show you how I mix it. I got a suggestion from one of you all. Shout out to you. I'm going to put you on the screen because you're amazing because you left a comment. Shout out to you. Um, and I'm going to show you all my mixing process. Now it's nothing uh, elaborate, elaborate is nothing extraordinary. I'm going to tell you that now is, but you'll see what I do. So make sure you all, oh, Hey, I just started a TikTok. I'm going to tell you now. I think it's she baby. Even now I'm going to put it on the screen somewhere. So make sure y'all follow that. Y'all will be the first to see the beats that are videos that's coming. <laughs> yeah. So make sure you all follow that all, all of my social medias. Make sure you all go to the website. After every video, I'm going to start um, putting the beat up and it'll be a free version of the beat, of the beat available. So make sure you all do that. So let's get into the video. Okay, we have our screen record going and we're in Logic. Um, of course, I'm going to make the beat first and then I'll show you my whole mixing process. Like I said, it's nothing extravagant, but your beats will knock and be clean what the heck okay got that Let's go deep down, aren't they? There we go. Yeah. There we go. That's not where we are. change these bells let's see some different bells okay we have a different bell sound on here I changed it I think I might add the remix effect Okay, we're going to automate that in. Uh-oh. Go to touch. There 
we go. And then we're gonna go take that back to read. Delete that one. Uh, eh, don't erase. Then we're just gonna copy. I still don't like these bells. Hold on, let's fix these. Golly. No repeat. There we go. Thirty seconds. Okay. Do I want this hi hat? Now there's no repeat. guitar here for some reason. I don't know why. So what I do first is I go to my audio effects and go down to utility, go to gain and click that. Then I go to mono and turn that on. Okay. It just gives you 
it's not so spread out when it's in stereo. You can hear it in mono. And I always feel like if you can hear everything and it sounds good in mono, it'll sound good in stereo because it'll be on both speakers. Mono is like, you know, like your little Bluetooth speakers, like stuff like that. But it'll sound good in the car, in your headphones, when you put it back in stereo. So if you get it sounding good in mono, or even if you have like terrible speakers and you can get it sounding good on terrible speakers, most likely it'll sound good on everything else. So this is what I do. Okay, so my kick, I have my EQ on here. Oh, my EQ. Oh, wait. Yeah, I have my EQ on here. All right. So, but what I do is I go, when my EQ, I go to dual mono because you want your kick to hit right in the middle. Then I go to the settings little tab right there, go down here to stereo and hit mid side. Then I go to side and turn it all the way down. I don't want my kicks hitting on the side. I want it to punch right in the middle. Okay. And I leave my EQ, which I cut at, you know, everything below 47. And then I did a cut at 1600 and above okay so i'll keep that we got our kick all right then we have our cymatics diablo light to add a little punch right here add a little punch little clip little soft clip and that version is free the diablo light is free also have i am music mogul's duck out so anytime the kick hits, the 808 will come down a little bit so that kick can punch through. But you're still going to have that, that bottom end from that 808, and it's still going to hit hard. So I go over here to my side chain, and then I go to my 808, which is right here, which is usually in the instrument, so you just click it like that. All right, all right. And now I'm going to go to my 808, and I'm going to do pretty much the same thing. Um, well, I have my tuner right there. I'm going to go to my EQ, go to dual mono. And when I bring my EQ up, I'm going to go to this little settings thing right here. Go to mid side. Go to side. Take it all the way down because you want your 808s and your kicks to hit right in the middle. Okay. And so I am going to cut some of this low end. Everything pretty much below 40. Let's bring this in here. We're going to mix this in a little bit. There we go. All right. And take that high end off. Cut some of that high end. And then I go in and I see where my kick is hitting. Uh-oh. I see where my kick is hitting. And I see it's hitting around in here. I'm going to cut that in my 808. I'm going to cut it down some. All right. And I'm going to cut, see where my 808 is hitting, which is around here in that 60 area. Uh -oh. I'm going to cut some of that from my kick. Just some. It don't have to be extremely over exaggerated and nothing like that. Just a little. Just so they can give each other room. You're carving out space. But this duck out plug out plug it plug in from I'm Music Mogul pretty much does that little uh like cut out some of that EQ for you, which is amazing and it saves you time. I have my kick in my 808. Um, and then I'm going to go, if you can notice, now you hear like basically all kick, right? Now, when I'm bringing this in, the kick and the 808 works together. It's like nobody's winning the war. They're both, they're both working together to accomplish the same goal, which is to give the beat some bottom end and some knock. Okay. There we go. And then on my 808, I'm going in with 
the uh, Diablo light again. But I'm leaving this one on hard. <laughs> I'm leaving this clipper hot on hard. Um. Yes. And one thing I like to do is I like to reference in my headphones, in my headphones, in Audio Technica, I mean, not in Audio, Audio Technica headphones. These are the MX, or M40Xs. I do have the 50s over here, but I usually use it, use these just to hear in my headphones. Okay. All righty. Our rims. Again, I like to put these... When I'm uh, adding my EQ, I like to put them in dual mono so I can have them, like my kicks and my snares, or claps or rims or whatever the case may be, in uh, pretty much in mono. We know with snares and all of that type of stuff, we only want the 808, the bass, like if you have like basses, 808s, and kicks and stuff, that's what you want to hit in your bottom end. You don't want a bunch of other stuff fogging that up because it will get muddy and it will sound a mess. Okay. And I do pan that a little bit because in real life, uh, your snare is usually off to your left side, okay? So I'll kind of pan that a little bit to the left. Throw a little um, reverb on there. Okay, and turn that down. One thing, don't look at where like you see these moving, like the little green uh, level thing. Like don't look at those really. So those are kind of deceiving. So don't look at those to get through your mixes. They're the very deceiving. One thing could look higher than the other, and but it just don't sound right when you turn it down, you know? Go use your ears, not necessarily your eyes. Okay, I'm going to copy these because they're pretty much doing the same thing. They're two rims and this is just some percussion. I'm going to throw that off to the right side. And as you can see, I'm still low, negative 11.5. I'm not mixing everything super hot and super loud. When I do percussion, I like them to be, like I like one to be, like I like to pan them left and right. I don't just pan them all right, pan them all left. Like this right here was one percussion, then this down here is another percussion. And that one's, this first one is panned to the right. So I'm gonna pan this one hard left. All right, hats. Sometimes I do have my hats kind of loud only because the hi-hats give it that bounce, but it still sounds right. And one thing about my hats, I do, of course, everything you add, you do a low cut on just to get them out the way of the kicks and ain't away for one, but um, sometimes I get annoying in the high end too. So you cut the, cut it a little bit. All right, right. Now I'm gonna go in with my bells. Let me tell y'all one thing that I like to do. I like to take all of my instruments and send them to a bus.
And this I'm just basically taking out what annoys me. to this. And I am going to pin this my, my bell a little bit. Just a little. We only want to kick in the 808 in the middle. Thank you. Cut everything that don't need to be there. my guitar out and y'all it can get really muddy right in here this three and five hundred it can get really muddy so I like to cut some of that out and then I check what I have so far in my headphones okay I'm gonna add go to wave and add um, the stereo imager on my bells because I just want to spread them out some, and I also want to go in here and cut around 300. And this is why I bust every all of my instruments as far as like the melodic part of it besides the 808 is because I like to go to this uh this plugin OTT and I believe it's actually free if you go to their website. Um I'll try to link it below if I remember. If I don't, then remind me and I'll put it in the comments. But I believe it's free. And so what I like to do, um because this really spreads it out and opens it up and makes it louder and all of that stuff. But I like to, it's like a compressor, it's a compressor really, but I like to take this, like if you, I turn it up, you hear that? I like to turn this down, take off some of that mid, and if the highs is too much, then I'll take some of that out. And then, I go into here and I also add the imager. You don't need the Waves imager. Logic comes with a stock imager. So you can use that. I just prefer to use this. And I spread it out to get, get it out of the middle. Like I said, we want to get that knock and that hit and that punch in the middle. You want your kick and your 808 to live there. Nothing else. And then... What I usually do is I go back, I keep that right there. Then I um, go back to my instruments and I add um, I add a compressor just to kind of blend them all together. I don't change it. I change. I turn off the auto gain and all of that. And. I'm, I turn the threshold till I start. Actually, no, you know what? I turn the attack to about two. And I turn the threshold until I start seeing the the um, the um meter hand move. All right, I turn my ratio up a little bit, about three, three to one. And then I turn my release up to about 200. So it holds. And that's it. And then I and then I'm I am i am able to control all of my instruments through this one thing. What am I doing? I'm gonna go into my multi effects and go to the fat FX and I have a preset that I have which kind of turns everything up and makes it hit, which is kind of like the um the the fruity limiter, I believe. So it's kind of like that. It turns everything up 
and it, and it has like some soft limiting on there, which is kind of like the soft clipping and uh, uh, the furry limiter. And that is it. Then I sequence. So I'm going to sequence this out and you all are going to hear the full and final beat. Did you like it? Did you like it? Why yes. Um, thanks for watching the video. That this is we have come to a close, my friends. We have come to a close. I'm sorry. Um, this is the end. Make sure you like, 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 like. Um, it really tells the algorithm to. Hey, she bangs over there. Hey, she's doing some stuff. It's pretty cool. And they're going to suggest this to other people. And other people are coming to join the party. And it's going to be the best party ever. Because we have a great time over here. Um, so yeah, but that's the end of it. Make sure you like, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Comment. If you want to know anything, leave it below. Let me know. Tell me or ask me. Whatever the case may be. And turn on your post notifications and set them to all so you can be notified each and every time I post a video. She bangs and I am.